So, Jackson Rip Holmes, I'd like to try to articulate my um, aspirations uh, that a, an honorary Russian consulate in Miami uh, could possibly save the world. Uh, obviously, these are high aspirations. You now please be the judge of whether that is uh, conceivable. Um, Venezuela is uh, very close to Miami. We have a large Venezuelan exile community here. Venezuela is a hot spot in the world. It's uh, possibly the point of greatest direct uh, uh, friction between the United States and Russia. Uh, the two largest uh, nuclear uh, powers, if you will, I think the United States eclipses Russia. Eclipses Russia. Uh, Russia is possibly a distant second, but that's part of the problem. And I think that, uh, so let me get right to the point. Um, I don't think that uh, Donald Trump, President Trump, should have terminated the INF nuclear treaty of Ronald Reagan, 1988, that uh, all the subsequent presidents were happy about. None of them ever complained about it. Uh, not President Bush, not President Clinton, not President Bush Jr., uh, not President Obama. Who then is Donald Trump to come along and say that we need to terminate a nuclear treaty, nuclear weapons? Uh, he, he gave no uh, meaningful explanation of doing this. It actually puts, uh, it's, it, President Putin of Russia has articulated numerous times that his greatest nightmare uh, has been, and, and now Donald Trump has brought this to life, he's brought a, Mr. Putin's nightmare to life, that uh, the U.S. would position nuclear weapons in the former Warsaw Pact countries. These countries, there's 12 of them, were, were allies of the Soviet Union. We're talking about Poland, Romania, Bulgaria, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, the, uh, the um, Baltic states, what have you, <coughs> Yugoslavia. Um, but specifically, Mr. Putin, in May 31st of 2016, articulated a special concern about any potential uh, nuclear weapons, which uh, up until Mr. Trump, this was illegal, but he was still worried that it could be circumvented uh, in uh, Poland and Romania. And uh, you can Google that, May 31st, 2016 speech by Vladimir Putin. Mr. Putin's worst nightmare, he articulated it and said Russia could not allow this to happen. So guess who makes it happen? Donald Trump. I don't personally believe that uh, Donald Trump is Russia's great friend. I think he's um, possibly their worst nightmare. Um, moving back to Venezuela for a second. Um, where do I pick up the thread here? Uh, now that Mr. Trump, unlike all the other presidents, has decided to terminate this nuclear treaty, making those uh, missiles illegal. Russia, uh, which is already behind in the nuclear arms situation, has to be concerned that uh, it's now legal to put these missiles in uh, Poland and Romania and other countries much closer to the Russian border that could even conceivably cause uh, enabled the United States to win a nuclear war. We used to have the concept of mass uh, mutually assured destruction that may no longer be accurate because if we amass enough nuclear weapons next to Russia, we could disable their uh, ability to counterattack, and that's how you win a nuclear war. So Russia then has to look at Cuba and Venezuela as 
uh, part of the nuclear chess game, if you will, uh, places that uh, Russia could position nuclear weapons. If we're going to be, if, if not if not we, because I don't think most people agree with this, if Donald Trump, uh, the military industrial complex, wants to put nuclear weapons next to Russia to possibly win a nuclear war, Russia <coughs> needs Venezuela and Cuba as places near the United States to, in the nuclear chess game, defensively uh, be able to put nuclear weapons. Um, now, um, the Venezuelan exiles, I, I'm, I'm friends with uh, some of the best Venezuelan exiles and, and the Venezuelans, exiles in general. I think we've lucked out with some really incredible people here in Miami. And uh, so I said that I don't think Mr. Trump is a friend of Russia, even though it would seem as though he is. Uh, and I don't think personally that he's a friend of the Venezuelan exiles, even though it would seem as though he might be. I just don't believe it. Why do I not believe it? Because he's made uh, he's given Russia an incentive, a survival incentive, to keep Mr. Maduro in power, as just described, to be able to place defensively uh, nuclear weapons in Venezuela if we position nuclear weapons in uh, the former Warsaw Pact countries. And so, if you're Russia, and Russia has so many great people, I'm not saying that Mr. Um, Putin is, um, I, I'm not sure if anyone in his position would do differently. You, 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 you want the, your country to survive. You don't want your country to be enslaved by someone being able to say, do it our way or uh, we'll annihilate you. So, um, uh, where does that leave the Venezuelan exiles? Uh, if they get what they want, uh, Mr. Guaido in power, which to be honest with you, I want because of the uh, horrible mistakes made by Mr. Chavez and Mr. Maduro, um, they may uh, push Mr. Putin into uh, the potential position of use it or lose it. Uh, rather than, do you remember the uh, famous statement of the um, patriot, who, who was it that said, uh, uh, give me liberty or give me death? Was that Patrick Henry? Give me liberty, not nuclear enslavement, or give me death. What if Vladimir Putin says that and goes, boom, all because of Donald Trump? Um, so we're in a stalemate now in Venezuela, caused by, in my opinion, one person out of seven billion plus in the entire world, Donald Trump. And look at the uh, harm that's causing Venezuela. I think that the Russians actually uh, have been swindled themselves by Mr. Maduro and really don't care if he remains in power and if, if Mr. Guaido uh, assumes a control of the country. But they do care if they're out maneuvered in a nuclear game of survival of the entire country by Donald Trump. So defensively, they have to keep Maduro in power. Uh, now, uh, Russian honorary consulate in Miami. We have the most incredible Russian community here. I'm telling you, we have the most incredible Russian uh, community here in Miami. We have some incredible people. Uh, and just like we have would seem the cream of the crop Venezuelans. And they both have in my opinion an interest in reinstatement of this nuclear treaty. So what do you think? Uh, a, an honorary Russian consulate in Miami might uh, be able to um, 
draft and pass along a resolution, uh, please reinstate the INF nuclear treaty. Well, let's suppose that that is the uh, drop in the lake that causes ripples that spreads to distant shores and they decide to reinstate the INF nuclear treaty. Does uh, Miami honorary, cons honorary Russian consulate uh, save the world?